Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here. We need to talk. Grab a tea and come sit by me because there's stuff going on. You guys, let's talk St. Meghan Markle. It's the Reddit group where they, I don't know, I've talked about it a million times. I just haven't done a video on them in a while, but they brought something up that I have been wanting to talk about. Uh, I actually let loose on last night's Patreon. So if you're a Patreon member, you kind of know where this is going. I have so many thoughts on this, but um, I, I, let's just get into this. I'm not trying to tease this out. I just, I really been wanting to talk about this. They did a great job, sorry, job addressing this. So I want to talk about it with you all. And I also want to say thanks for being here. I'm Jen Hong Kong, everyone. Just a reminder, this Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern, it's the 27th, uh, we are doing the charity fundraiser here on my channel. And uh, you'll see how that relates to today's video because the Sussex Squad are going after charities, including me and this one that I'm working on. So we'll talk about all that. Let's get into this. Starting off with this post here. Is it Ruse Mama? I think posted this and it says, who's vicious enough to bully a charity? Megan Markle's Sussex Squad. That's who? Oh, don't I know it. Um, I'm going to talk about this, and I'm not trying to make it about myself. I am fine. But uh, even sharing my fundraiser, the squad decided I am the enemy and have been coming after me for it. It's so ridiculous. I let loose on Patreon. And <laughs> oh, God. I screamed obscenities for about 15 minutes because I'm so over it. And I showed the screenshots of what they said, and it's horrific. But it doesn't matter. I know I'm on the right track because the more I, I make them lose their minds like that, the more I know I'm doing the right thing, raising money for a good cause. But back to this issue, this has to do with um, that American Riviera Orchard, the person that bought it for the UK. Uh, that linked to the food bank. Well, that food bank is doing spectacularly well, and the squad is all kinds of angry about it. Let's take a look and see what we're talking about. Here it is, the very clever person that set this up, this link to this food bank through this website. So smart. I mean, I, I love this so much. So now, as a result, they had hoped to raise about a thousand pounds. They've raised, at the time of this recording, 23,323 pounds. I think that's incredible. I'm so excited to hear it. I've also heard about King Charles's high grove doing so well um, because people want to support him. I think this is fantastic. And I've heard somebody else say this is the opposite of being markled. That's how I feel as well. I love that this community, our community, has come together and, and gotten behind such great causes and doing such wonderful things and also screw the Harkles. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, but let's get back to what that squad, the sewer squad, are up to. I hate the word squad, by the way. I feel like <laughs> as a 40-something-year-old woman, I probably shouldn't use squad, but I don't know how else. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're dealing with high schoolers, basically. So here it is, under this charity, this food bank, right, where all this wonderfulness is being raised and, and done and helping people. Even if you're pro Megan. I don't understand bashing a charity. I am anti Megan, but I am not ever going to bash a charity. You know, even if the idiots got together and decided to, I don't know, maybe try to do some good, they never would. But you see what I'm saying? Like I would, it just, none of us would because we're human beings that wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't support under their group you know, or maybe would pick a different cause or something. I just, this is crazy. So this is what we're dealing with. And again, Harry and Meghan are saying nothing about it. So they are, in my opinion, that means that they are complicit. So let's take a look at what these trolls are posting. And, and this is directly f under the charity, the donations and all that. Look at some of these posts. And also just a reminder, the charity isn't even involved. The very smart person who bought this domain because Megan didn't think of it herself, set up a link to give to a good cause. And that's what people are doing. But nope, the idiot sewer squad are too stupid to realize that. Have I said idiot and stupid enough? I don't think I have. They're idiots. And they haven't realized that this charity is not involved. They're just trying to do good and collect money to help people. And so they're attacking the charity. Let's take a look. Here we go. Um, when the Trussell charity accepts the funds and they're already said, 
uh, they will, the charity will be forever tainted with hateful people donating to them. Can you believe this too? You can see the word there. YouTube doesn't like it. Um, blank, a mixed race black woman for their white British princess, Kate Middleton. What does Catherine, Princess of Wales, they can never get her name right, have to do with this? Why are they dragging her in and making her fault? Again, because they're following what their leader does, Megan. They'll be uh, tainting the charity and Kate. First of all, there is no tainting a charity. There is no tainting Catherine, Princess of Wales. The only thing tainted is the idiot that you follow around. All right, then there's this one, again, tagging the charity, saying the funds being donated to your organization are being made by trick. It is not a trick. This person clearly says something, I forget what it is. It's like, this is not Megan, but if you want to give here, you know, something like that, like, <laughs> you can. Just because Megan, again, is an a-hole who did zero planning, tried to roll this thing out to disrupt... Prince of Wales, William, uh, during a speech for his his mother. I just, again, these words, I, I hear myself sometimes and I think, what? What world is this? But yeah, that's exactly what happened. She tried to disrupt him by rolling out this website, did little to no planning, and is shocked that people, I don't know, gave it some thought and picked up the website's that are similar and decided to do some good with it. Whoa, shocking. It's, she's probably just hurt because they've spent more money helping this good cause than they ever would on this ridiculous jam. You go on to say, if you do not disassociate yourself from this activity involving the Duchess of Sussex's website address, it's not her website address. She's an asshole. She should have planned better. You will be guilty of being complicit and benefiting from the fraudulent activity. This is not fraudulent activity. People are very aware because it says something along the lines of click here for, I hope I'm saying it right, is it Trussell Trust? Whatever. Like, I, I'm just frustrated, so I'm yelling. I apologize. <laughs> it's so stupid. I mean, I can get on board with some dumb stuff and really make fun of them for a lot of dumb stuff. I get really pissed when it involves a good cause slash charity like this. This organization is not at fault. They are trying to raise money for a good cause. The person that set up this website is my hero and an honorary member of the Drunk Goose Club, whoever you are. <laughs> I love you and I think this is brilliant. And if people are too dumb to realize that by clicking on a link that says Trussell Trust and then saying whatever it said, would well, donate there, they think that people still can't figure out that they're being tricked. They're not being tricked. It's just that the squad is so stupid. They would be tricked by something like that. Oh, I thought I was giving it to Megan. No, you didn't. If you do any reading at all, you can clearly see you're not. All right. Uh, again, dragging Catherine, Princess of Wales, into this, where she has nothing to do with this. Nothing. Bringing her up and this and tagging in this business. Or, sorry, I keep calling it business. I don't mean that. I mean this this charity, this foundation. I really haven't looked into it. That's why I dance around with the name. Of, whatever. The Trussell Trust. Good cause, right? To create America. Okay, let's see. Domain to give the brand the name of Meghan Markle's new project. Yeah, but again, Meghan didn't think this through. This is not hers. Somebody scooped her. Good for them. Just because they're smarter than her doesn't mean that you can go after this charity. Uh, disgusting scoundrels? Do they mean scoundrels? But whatever. Um, yeah. Again, we can't help that your your boss, aka Megan, is an idiot. Rachel is an idiot and didn't think this out. Isn't she supposed to be, I don't know, this amazing businesswoman or whatever, <laughs> selling jam? So she didn't think it through. So, of course, the sugars are mad or the whatever sewer squad are mad at us. All right. Make that make sense. Um, you've raised money to give it to Megan. She's the blueprint. What? Wait, let me try again. You raise the money. Give it to Megan. She's the blueprint. No, asshole. She's not anything. <laughs> this is idiotic and I feel like I'm losing brain cells. I'm going to move on from this, but I just wanted you to see what was going on. So they're attacking this charity for raising money, which is what charities do to help people. 
They're just not used to seeing it from their leaders, a.k.a. Meghan and Harry, so they don't know how to handle it. So they're flying off the handle. It's a lot of handles. Um, <laughs> but they're not used to seeing it, so they don't know what to do with it. So they're like, give it to Meghan. What the hell has Meghan ever done to deserve anything? Again, she's too lazy and too stupid to think out, hey... I should probably pick up the UK version of this and think, no, she just wanted to roll this crap out to be disruptive and it's backfiring and I'm here for it. And I have my popcorn. Who wants to come sit next to Petty Gin? Come on, let's go. All right. Uh, are you accepting the? This is from Sussex Daily, by the way. That screen name. Whew. Yikes. Okay. Um, <laughs> are you accepting the money raised through fraudulent means and this poor charity has been so kind and it and and they're they're answering back and they're being lovely about it where they don't need to be. I would like to just um take a picture of my middle finger and send it back as a reply. But since I can't um again, it's not fraudulent just because you you guys and by you guys I mean the sewer squad are complete morons like Harry and Megan can't figure stuff out can't see what's clearly in front of you. It's not anybody else's fault. Again, look at these names and look at these, um, uh, what, what is it? Thumbnails, whatever the pictures, the user pictures, huh? HRH King Harry. Okay. He wishes only in, only in a username is he that. So you're going to keep the money or you're going to return it to the donors that were somehow misled. Nobody's misled. Into thinking that they're working with the people's duchess. Bless her beautiful heart. To help your good organization. How are you going to solve this one? There is no solving, you asshat. There is no solving. People know what they're doing. And that's the other thing. They're pretending like people don't know what they're doing and that they're being conned. So that way, what? They can justify it to themselves, aka to their boss, Megan. Uh, why... The charity is doing so stinking well and, and none of her businesses ever do well. Hmm. Interesting thought, huh? I really do feel for this charity, though. You can see that they have been replying and replying to all these trolls. Luckily, there's some lovely people on there standing up for the charity saying the Sussex Squad should be illegal, honestly, bullies. And somebody else puts out, how is it demeaning anyone? Uh, are you saying that Megan would have a problem with people donating for a good cause? Yeah. Yeah, I believe she would, in my opinion. Uh, she only wants you to donate to the organization of Megan, right? Mm. She wants you to give to her website. <laughs> and by that, I mean she wants you to buy her jelly or jam or whatever. It's not even for sale. What is she bitching about? She doesn't even have project products for sale on there yet. <laughs> but can you imagine being so petty as to attack a charity? Again, I go back to, I can't stand Harold and Fraud. But I'm not on attacking any charities. They're not even affiliated with charities. But if they were, see uh, R12 for details. If they were, <laughs> I would sure as shit just avoid anything that they're involved in. I'm not attacking them. Big difference. And even when I talk about like, um, what you call it, um, Invictus, I'm very careful to always say I support the men and women, the servicemen and women and their families and what they're doing. I do not support Hank and Skank making it about themselves. There's a big difference. I would never go on and trash Invictus or the, the warriors or whatever, the people, you know, in these games. I do question this, you know, people in charge asking why the heck do you have Hank and Skank involved in that? But that's different. I would never attack a charity. And I know, I know I'm staying the obvious. None of us would. None of us would. But these, oh God, these guys are the worst. Okay, let's keep going with this, shall we? Let's move on to something else funny. Along these lines, but in a much funnier way, I want to point out that um, it looks like, de ep sorry, Dependent Aside 9750 posted this. I'm picturing royal staff members leaving articles about the Trussell Trust story open on King Charles III and Princess of Wales breakfast plates, as well as sharing some of the comments from the fundraiser. Here are some of my faves. So these are some of the funny comments people have left as they donated to this cause. Mel writes, this is truly inspiring. Many warm thoughts and well wishes to the trust and to the British royal family. No, this does not mean... <laughs> Ratchet Rachel or Baldy has been. Ratchet Rachel is a great name for him. Uh, 
Good Lord. I saw his name and said him. Let me try that again. Ratchet Rachel is a great name for her. <laughs> That's perfect. And I think I already have called him has been many a times, but still Baldy has been pretty great too. Shannon writes, donated in memory of Queen Elizabeth II and Drizzle the Polo Pony. Um, if you don't know who that is, that's the one. Uh, you'll have to Google it with Harry. I can't even go into it. It's disgusting and awful. But yeah, just remember Harry's an awful person too. Anonymous writes, most Americans are not like disgusting duchess. I love that so much. And can I just say, absolutely. <laughs> As an American, <laughs> I can honestly say same. <laughs> Why do you think I'm so obsessed in watching? Because I've never seen anyone act like either of these two wankers in my entire life. So yeah, same. All right. American supporter says, thank you, Megan, for showing us just how admirable the real royal family is. Never paid much attention until you came along and tried to destroy them for financial gain. So sad. I love that. I think that's fantastic and such a great comment when giving money to a good cause. All right, we have Mods Crusty Lady Garden. That's a great name. Sorry, it's not much. I can't find where Harry has hidden the money. What little I have, I'm saving for... <laughs> oh, good Lord. A JJ steam clean. Those crabs hang on for dear life. I bow to the beauty of Catherine. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? It's so good. Veronica writes for the commenters on the New York Post site and a little something extra for guest speaker. Here's to Charles III and Catherine's good health. And if you're like, what's that? Um, there's a lot of speculation over on St. Meghan Markle that there's somebody called guest speaker. They think it's Meghan herself that tries to argue with any story that's not 100% positive on Meghan. And as you can imagine, there's lots of arguing going on. One of my favorites is this one. Henry Windsor gives and writes, don't tell the wife, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> That's pretty great. Wouldn't it be Sussex now? But still, I get what you're saying. So then we have this one called My Father Cut Me Off. I'm a ginger millionaire sitting in my Armani suit in my Montecito mansion, aged almost 40. But mean old daddy cut me off financially, so I can only give five pounds. <laughs> And one of my other favorites, Ale writes, hijack our constitution, yes, the titles, and we'll hijack your commercial pursuits. You can end this any day now. Game on. I'm going to leave this here, but I'm going to leave us with this lovely thought. Think of all the good this group, and by this group, I mean the Drunk Goose Club. I mean Catherine Princess of Wales supporters. I mean, royal family supporters. I mean, the people that have given to this food bank, the people giving to St. Jude's, whatever it is, however you choose to do your good, we're doing so much good. And then I want you to look at how the <laughs> that one and the other one and their group are ha not handling, um, how they're treating everyone. Again, it's a reflection of Harry, Hank and Skank, Harold and Fraud themselves. Ugh. It really does disgust me. I just, who goes after charity? What the hell is wrong with these people? Ugh, awful people. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being so lovely. Thank you for not being the shitbags like the ones we see from the other side. Uh, I appreciate you all so very much. I truly do. Uh, if you want to further support, you know how to do it. Listen, if you want to further support, show up on Saturday. Saturday the 27th. We're all broke right now. I get it. Any little bit helps. We're just doing it for a good cause. Again, we're we're doing it in Catherine Princess of Wales honor, uh, and it will go directly to St. Jude, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Please Google what time that is for you. It's right here on the channel. If you haven't done, if you didn't, you know, do one before, you don't know how to do it, you just join in anytime around that time or thereafter, and you'll see the live chat. And anything given during that stream goes directly to St. Jude. They even have um, like a, I think some sort of tally or something on the screen. So we'll be able to see in pretty much real time how, how much we've raised. Again, last time we raised just over $6,000. I want to beat that goal so bad. Let's do the best we can. Tell everybody, spread the word. Meet me on Saturday. Honk at me. Show me your honkers. Even if you choose not to give, don't worry. It's okay. I get it. Um, just show up and show me your honkers. <laughs> your support means the world to me. It really does. And I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday. In the meantime, so much more stuff coming out. 
Thank you guys, as always, for being here. Thank you for all your lovely responses to the Lady C book. You don't know how much that means. It's a lot of work doing those book reviews, but I really do enjoy them. And um, I'm excited to keep going with that. And I hope you are too. And thank you guys for everything. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.